The winner of today's free huge cyber agony is toxic. Thank you for watching and commenting on all of the videos. And if you guys watching today's episode want a chance at a free huge pet, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below with your Roblox name. The backrooms update number two is tomorrow and we'll be revealing some of the secrets that might be going down. Let's get into it. What's up guys? Guys, my name is D Field, and welcome back to another episode of Pet Simulator 99 here on Roblox. We're back on 99, and as you guys can tell, it is a bright and beautiful early morning farming in the last area with all of my alt accounts over here. Now, I do have some unfortunate news, guys. I have confirmed over the past couple of days that pinatas have been nerfed by about 40% overall they are dropping less bags and the bags themselves are actually giving a lot less items it is an unfortunate nerf for our farm but thankfully with all of our alt accounts it is still slightly profitable but if the developers choose to actually nerf these pinatas even further I might have to take all of my accounts here and literally change them into like hatching accounts or maybe try hatching some huges or something I don't really know if I want to make that investment guys because I would have to buy the huge hunter game pass on over like 10 accounts. I don't know. What do you guys think? If they happen to nerf my pinata method, do you guys think I should buy super drops and huge hunter on 10 of my accounts? Maybe try to max all of them out and, you know, solo farm in their own areas. It would take me quite some time to get a thousand huges in order to, you know, power up my entire team, but it might be a very interesting prospect that we do think about in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's episode, we are going to be talking about and showing all of the things that have been shown for the Backrooms update, which is happening tomorrow. This Saturday, we have another Backrooms update. And if I pull up the Twitter really quickly, you guys can see that a couple of days ago, Build actually tweeted this little small short video of the Backrooms May 11th. We don't really know exactly what's going to be added for the Backrooms part two. This event is going to be continuing, but as some of you guys know, I told you guys I would be mainly focusing on the last area farming for the meantime. As of right now, the clan battle is literally less than 24 hours from finishing, and currently boss clan is holding to the number one spot. The next 24 hours are going to be interesting to see whether or not the other clans have some hidden agendas. There are a lot of rumblings, but I feel like a lot of it is just smoke in the air, distractions for everybody else. Now, quick overview and a quick shout out to some of the big spenders here on the boss clan. Holy moly, Tater, Caddy, and Nyx with 300,000 stars each. I literally have a 10th of their points, guys, and I feel like I have contributed a lot to this clan battle, but these guys are going above and beyond to try to secure this victory for the boss clan. Now, on Saturday morning, if you guys want to see the brand new huge bubble dog being traded, I will try to put out a video sometime Saturday afternoon to show the entire thing going down. It will be quite interesting to see whether or not the boss clan will be able to hold on to their 3 million point lead. Will the goop clan actually reveal something? Oh, only time will tell. Tomorrow on Saturday, there is going to be a backrooms part two event. I have a feeling they're going to add a lot more of those random rooms, maybe some secret areas as well. So if you guys want to find out a little bit more about that on Saturday for the event update, hit that subscribe button. We'll be exploring it all Saturday afternoon, and then I'll probably upload a video once more of the secrets are found. Now for the past week, you guys all know that I have been focusing on farming up my glitch cores for this clan event. So I haven't really done too much of the hatching in the back rooms event i literally have like none of the brand new pets so my question is 
do I spend 48 hours this weekend on the main account hatching or trying to find a 100x egg? Now, if we really wanted to, we could go into the trading plazas and find the new huge ourselves, but sometimes, you know, it's a little bit more satisfying to, you know, knock this off and hatch it for yourself during the event. Almost 60,000 of them already hatched. Holy moly. I wonder if it's a little bit easier to hatch just because of the event right now. Hmm. How many of you guys have actually hatched your own plague dragon? Oh man. Now that the event is over, I might be focusing on hatching a couple of these event pets as well. But as always, we do have a couple of huge cyber agonies to give away today. If you guys haven't already commented down below with your Roblox name, hashtag agony with your Roblox name, and you guys will have a chance to win one of these bad boys. Now, as I mentioned a couple of episodes ago, we are going to actually start saving up our diamonds with farming and with selling all of our huges that we end up hatching. I think I'm going to be buying a Titanic within the next week or so using diamonds. And my question is, I wonder how much Titanics are actually going to be around this day and age. The lowest Titanic is the Titanic Fawn, and it looks like the RAP value is just below 8 billion. You could probably get it for right around there if you find the right person. So, mm, a couple of different Titanics that we can probably look into uh, purchasing over the next couple of days. There's the rich cat we haven't gotten yet. We've gotten the rainbow Titanic balloon monkey, but we haven't actually touched the normal pink balloon monkey as well. So, a lot more Titanics that we do need to index over here and finish off. But the Titanic black hole Angelus is going to be one of them that we wanted to hatch. But unfortunately, we literally just had no freaking luck, dude. Now, before I continue with the egg hatching here on the main and hopping back onto the trade alt, I do want to go ahead and spend probably a couple hundred more million on glitch cores for the event. But real quickly, guys, check this out. A quick overview into our masteries on the main account. We're very close now to level 99 in gifts mastery. Ooh, the 20% better loot from charm stones and mini chest items. Guys, not a lot of people know this, but the level 99 perk actually stacks with this level 60 and 70 and 80 levels. So basically you're going to be getting like, what is this? 40% chance to get two times the loot from charm stones, mini chest items, and from bundles as well. With the current method that I am using with the large gift bags and small gift bags from the pinatas, this ends up being a really good method and actually, you know, making a little bit of profit. So you guys kind of can understand why this method with the pinatas Yadas has been working for me with the 10 accounts. It's a very, very specific build. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it, but I haven't really changed much with the farm. If you guys want to check out the pinata video from about four or five months ago on the channel, I'm literally still doing the same thing. I'll show you guys right now here on the alt account that I have farming with us here in the center. They literally just have stat pets, like nothing even crazy, no crazy huges or anything like that. All of these alt accounts are literally just just hanging out with stat pets here in the last area with my main account. Now, the very last thing that I do want to mention, there are some people in the community who are talking really negatively about this corruption spell and are talking a little bit negatively about the shiny supercharge book that they recently released into the game. Now, the shiny supercharge is only 10 million gems and the corruption has dropped down to about 11 million. Super, super cheap in the market marketplace right now and I would strongly recommend that if you guys have a shiny team like I do the shiny supercharge will definitely be able to like outshine any of the other performers the one thing about the shiny supercharge book that not a lot of people really know about is that it stacks 100% with the strong book so if you guys are rocking the strong pets book in the max form it's gonna be 135% plus the additional 100% there's not really a percentage cap with the boost like some of the other boosts have there are going to be some unique niche builds which are actually going to be able to utilize the shiny supercharge a lot better so if you guys are listening to some of those other youtubers or other players who do not have a full shiny team like this it's going to be really hard to kind of uh back up their claims i'm telling you the shiny supercharge is super helpful especially in chest rush and not only that the corruption is also 
super helpful in the chest rush mini game. I'll show you guys super quickly. This right here is my current chest rush mini game setup. And with this current setup and my current team that you guys are watching, I can pretty much easily hit room number 150. So those of you guys who are still playing chest rush and maybe have maxed out teams like myself, I would definitely give the corruption and the shiny supercharge a second chance. It is 100% worth it to run it in the max teams. Some people who might only have exclusive pets or maybe not a full team of 99 huges just might not be able to find out and, you know, feel the true power of those two books. But hey, it just goes to show they've got a lot more upgrades they can make with their teams. But nonetheless, let me go ahead and start hatching here on the main account. We've got 1.25 billion gems holding on the main. Let me go ahead and move this uh, window on over and bring over the trading alt. And on the trading alt, we have sold some stuff over the past evenings from our actual lootations. And as you guys can see, we have another 400 million gems to spend over here and a lot more items. Check it out, guys. Let's do some quick maths, all right? With a trusty calculator, we have 200,000, 400, 600, 800, 1 million fruits currently. And if we do 1 million fruits times, I could easily get 300 each. This is gonna be another 300 million in fruits. We're working our way very slowly, but surely into affording another Titanic, literally just by selling some of the drops that we've gotten from the pinatas and from super drops. If you guys missed the video earlier this week talking about the super drops game pass, I'm super tempted to actually buy it for all of my alt accounts and literally just stop farming pinatas. But oh, it is a pretty expensive game pass though at about $25. I don't really know if I want to make that financial commitment yet. But anyways, we have a couple of minutes to spend over here. Let's see if we can plaza hop around and see what kind of deals we can find. The one main thing that I am looking for are these glitch cores because obviously they are the best priced for the actual event and we do end up losing money by combining them into the gifts but we still end up breaking even a lot easier. So, ooh, oh no, someone just quickly bought that one as soon as I teleported in, man. The competition for the blue epic cores is actually kind of insane. You guys will notice that when I teleport into some of these booths, it will literally get instabot or like five or six different accounts will be teleporting to these glitch cores because everybody knows the big clans and the top clans are all rushing to try to get this last item before the event ends tomorrow. Oh, 31K for five. Let's go ahead and quickly purchase those right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I wonder how many of these glitch cores I could pick up in one hour. Oh man, that guy is charging way too much for his cores. That's probably why it's still in his booth and nobody's purchased it yet. Now, over the past week alone, you guys have noticed that Big has just kind of been nerfing and changing the rates of some of the items in the game, whether it's how much they drop or whether how much they're actually being like utilized in terms of like boost percentages on some of the enchants. It's kind of really weird to me that they're not publicizing when these changes are happening. Some of you guys noticed that on day one of the back rooms update, it was super freaking easy to hatch the huge pet. And then over Sunday night, literally after like one silent update, they somehow like made the huges in that mini game slightly harder to hatch. Oh, I don't know how to feel about that guys. I hope that in the future, the developers are willing to be more open about changing rates or maybe even just letting us know publicly what the rates for some of these hatchings are, but only time will tell. And I guess you guys are going to have to tune in tomorrow into the back rooms update number two to find out what kind of changes are going to be there. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to go ahead and end off the episode right here. I'll be spending the next couple of hours on my alt account trying to buy up some more of these cores for this event. And if you guys are looking to sell some glitch cores to the boss clan, join the boss discord. I'll be linking it at the top of the description below. We do have a little bit of a public section for some of you guys who do watch the videos. But anyways, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow for the Backrooms 2 update. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. My name is D-Field. We'll see you guys again very soon. Have a fantastic day. Peace.